So if you're in the market for an RV for you and your significant other, and every now and then you got a couple of smaller bodies that maybe come along with you, the new Heritage Glen 378FL front living with a loft, maybe just one to consider. Sleeping room for about eight, king size bed, washer and dryer connections, and it's more of an entry level coach, so it's not really gonna break the bank. We're gonna start on the outside of the coach and we'll go over its different features before heading inside. So if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Hit that subscribe button down below and let's get started. Coming in just shy of 44 feet long with five slide outs is this 2022 Forest River Wildwood Heritage Glen. Model number 378FL. FL I'm guessing is for front living or is it front living with a loft? Sleeping room for about eight. You've got two sleeper sofas in the front, king size bed in the back plus the loft bed. Gross vehicle weight rating on this coach of 14,140 pounds. Dry weight, and I say dry weight meaning unloaded vehicle weight. What does this camper weigh as it currently sits? 12,045 pounds. And speaking of weight, here in the bed of your truck, check out the kingpin while we come up here and tell you this, Hitch weight on this model of 2,140 pounds. And here on the front of the coach, you got a fully molded fiberglass front cap with an automotive gray windshield. And there's a shot of the docking lights, one on each side of the window. They're about 36 inches long. This coach sits on a 12 inch I-beam construction, which is leveled from a six point electric leveling system. There's a shot of the front legs, and you notice there's a little bit of manual labor. You gotta pull out the plunger first, dropping the legs down before pressing one of the two controls to operate the fully automatic leveling system. Water management system. All the water lines will come up through the floor underneath the skirting here. Going into this heated storage compartment. This is what I call a water management system. All the water lines will come up through the floor connected to the city water or the black tank flush if you're cleaning out your holding tanks you get this really cool outdoor shower and this is for winterizing all of your lines quick shot of the pass through storage why would cost us the texas size they claim it's just absolutely enormous and that is the 10 gallon gas or electric hot water heater your baggage doors are about an inch and a half thick with slam latches which is really great when you're just kind of wanting to just get moving around the coach but coming around to the main side 20 foot awning white in color there is led lights underneath it they are also white tv connections are found underneath the awning steel on this dining room slide some people like the slide some people dislike it being underneath the awning but with 20 feet of awning you have plenty of room your entry doors are right at six foot one tall 30 inches wide with the friction hinge the coach is gonna be sitting on two lippert 6,000 pound axles correction those are dexter axles my apologies there so many different names and components running through your brain here on the back of the coach check out the size holy camoly 13 foot 6 inches tall from the ground to the highest point and that's gonna be that second air conditioner on the top Fully walkable roof, rear mounted ladder. There's a blindside camera prep way up there on the top. This coach has a four x four tubular bumper to store all of your water lines. Sewer connections, you're only gonna have one way up there in front of the tire. Let's see if we can get up here closer to it. And while I'm here, I'll go ahead and show you the removable four x four, four by eight sheets which is really great to work on the underbelly of this coach. But sewer connection is found in front of the tire, which is good, but that way you're not swinging the debris up when they place them back there in the back. Both the gray handles located there, plus the black. All the slabs are pre-equipped from the factory with some of the mechanisms required to install slide toppers. The slide walls, the slide floor, and the floor of the coach vacuum bonded you can really hear some of the good quality and the durability inside the model we'll see if we can't 
head inside and show you some of its features but there's two of the 15k air conditioners and that solar panel installed from the factories over there as well here beside heritage glen model 378 fl front living floor plan with a loft sleeping room for about eight here in the front gooseneck area ceiling height up to that piece of trim there closer to the six foot five but as you get closer towards the TV, dips down to closer to the six foot four. So still giving plenty of headroom for all your taller individuals. TV in the front, and I kind of just got it kind of upwards at the moment. 50 inch TV with a sound bar provided for different zones inside and out. Automotive grade windshield in the front, plenty of natural light coming through. All electric fireplace, producing around 5,000 BTUs of heat. But if you don't camp in the winter, you can turn the heat off and just utilize the lights to assist whoever's sleeping on both of the sleeper sofas found here. Breeze windows in the slides and they're trimmed with a balance on both sides as well, which is great just to assist with blocking out all that natural sunlight if you don't want it. Theater seats with cup holders and there's some LED lights underneath this furniture here. Thomas Payne is the brand for the furniture inside the model. Coming down to the kitchen, the countertops are going to be what I call a press membrane countertop. It's a hard heated material wrapped over the edges of the Flamica, just helping it prevent from swelling in the event of it comes in contact with any water. Coffee prep station with some additional counter space. Additional cabinetry with a glass smoke tent accent to it. The slam latches provided. Coming around to the dining room table, some carpet with a slide box height of around six foot two. You have a freestanding table with a bench on one side and two freestanding chairs. So no bench seat on this side. Breeze windows on both sides of the slide box here, as well as this one here. This is the one enormous picture window. You still they carried over the balance, bringing them down here into the dining room also. They do a really great job of blocking out all that natural sunlight if you don't want it. Coming around to some of the appliances, Furion refrigerator, black, all solid black appliances throughout, freezer on the bottom, fridge on the top, you're gonna have a wine rack on the left. I don't know if that would necessarily get used in my family. Some may like it, tell me down below what you think. Your regular size Furion oven, and you have the matching pull-out drawer on the bottom, low-profile hood vent above the oven with a standard black Furion microwave. Maybe enough room for a pan pizza. So I'm going to open up the oven for you. And here's that matching drawer. Kitchen island in the middle, like I said, with a stainless steel residential style sink. High-rise faucet there. All the controls to operate the model found here in the hallway, slot operations, tank monitoring station, even your heated holding tanks are all controlled from here. Heading to the back, I wanna point out this loft bed before going into the bedroom to show you that king size bed. But coming up the stairs over the back bedroom, 96 inches wide, you're gonna be looking at around 10 feet long, two twin size mattresses up here. USB 110 outlets, you can see those identified there. You do have TV connections up here also. Up here in the corner, maybe room for about a 32 inch TV and some storage. Breeze windows with blackout shades. There's no valance trimming the windows here and you're gonna have one duct for your cooling. But coming back down the stairs, you do have a handrail which is great for older guys like myself. We're going to go over the bedroom first before going into the bathroom. 66 by 80 custom king size bed. Custom bed with custom sheets. One thing to keep in mind there. Nice big picture window in the back. Emergency exit. So that probably will open up for a little breeze. TV connections found at the foot of the bed. Maybe you can mount about a 50 inch TV in the wall there. Six different pull out drawers. Hanging closet over here. Plenty of room. There's plenty of space to walk around too. Changing room is not an issue inside of this coach. Washer and dryer connections for a combo unit found over here in the bed. But I'm going to get over here in a second. Let's talk about the bed. 66 by 80. Custom. 
Custom size, king size bed. So finding sheets could be a little bit of a hassle. Bedroom slide, breeze windows on both sides of the bed, but I wish they would have added a shelf for maybe a CPAP. Power connections, none in the slide box. Over here in the wall, 12 volt and 110 outlets provided there. And back over here, there's the 12 volt and 110 outlets there. Washer and dryer connections for a combo unit. Those can be provided for you at Camper Kingdom or just utilize the hanging rod for more storage. Let's see if we can go over the bathroom. Here in the bathroom area, if you're always struggling to find ceiling height, definitely one to consider. Plenty of seating for the ladies and shelving also for all of your body wash. Porcelain foot flush toilet. Notice you got about a seven or eight inch step up to get into this two piece plastic shower with the glass door to close it off. Medicine cabinet provided with some shelving also. And they carried over those pressed membrane countertops with the stainless steel style sink into the bathroom area. And a pretty cool little place maybe to store a trash can. So I'm going ahead and let out both of the sleeper sofas to show you how much walk around room you'll have and to give you an idea on size. In relation to size, it's not quite as big as a queen, but definitely bigger than a full. And you have somewhat of a little bit of room to access that television in front if you have to. Give me a like, leave me your questions down below as well for pricing and availability. Check the link in the description where it leads you back to my website to view more additional photos as well. A date and time I'm making a video, MSRP on this model, of $88,200.60. Like, subscribe, come see us.